Hey, everybody. It's the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm Aaron Maté sitting in for Jimmy here with American comedian Kurt Metzger. And let's talk about this train derailment in Ohio. Here's the headline. 50 car train derailment causes big fire evacuations in Ohio. And what's going on? People are trying to know. Here's Congress member Jamal Bowman. Nearly 1 million pounds of vinyl chloride were on this train. Now the EPA, now the EPA has confirmed that it's centered the that it's entered the Ohio River Basin, which is more, which is home to 25 million people. This is one of the deadliest environmental emergencies in decades, and no one is talking about it. So that's Jamal Bowman, Democrat. On the other side of the aisle, Marjorie Taylor Greene says, East Palestine, Ohio, is undergoing an ecological disaster because authorities blew up the train derailment cars carrying hazardous chemicals, and press are being arrested for trying to cu- tell the story. Oh, but UFOs, what is going on? Wait, what do you mean they blew up the train derailment cars? Yeah, I don't know what she's referring to there. I don't uh I don't think uh I don't think the authorities blew up, but we'll find out. It's I think details are, are still murky, but, but but that's a good question. Um here's a video about this. Massive train derailed Friday, 20 of them carrying hazardous materials as flames lit up the sky in northeastern Ohio. The evacuation order is in place for anyone within a mile radius of the crash site. These aren't, these aren't storm clouds. This is the fucking shit! The fucking shit they burn off in East Palestine! This is not fucking storm clouds! Look at it! This is horrible! Officials are claiming that the air and water are safe. Residents say they can still smell chlorine. They've complained about their eyes watering when they go outside. And one woman says the noxious air killed her chickens. Out of nowhere, he just started coughing really hard and just shut down and went very fast. Get all these fucking crows. I'm not kidding. This is within 10 miles of East Palestine. You have not evacuated. Please leave the area. And here is another video uh, trying to. Oh, the controlled burn. That's what it's. That's what she was talking about. Okay. Okay. Uh, here's Wait, another, yeah. Um, what was that thing this before it said? Extremely, it was, so they planned a controlled burn. What the? Yeah, so here's a, uh, someone on Twitter saying that uh, the, the extremely toxic liquid uh, was leaking as authorities planned a controlled burn, but that created hydrogen chloride acid that clings to water, basically acid rain. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. so here is a video about this. This hasn't been getting a lot of coverage, and the coverage that it has been getting hasn't been very good. So let's talk about the trail derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. East Palestine's about an hour north of Pittsburgh, almost halfway to Cleveland. Norfolk Southern has a rail line that goes right through town, and this derailment happened right on the edge outside of town on the border of PA and Ohio. Of the cars that crashed, five of them contained vinyl chloride. It's a monomer used to make PVC. Some of the reporting on this has gotten vinyl chloride confused with polyvinyl chloride, the polymer made out of vinyl chloride. Now the reason that this distinction is really important is vinyl chloride is very hazardous and very flammable. Polyvinyl chloride is a plastic that's used in like everything. The other thing about vinyl chloride is that it boils at 8 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's shipped in its liquid form. Meaning that when these trains crashed and these started leaking, they weren't just leaking liquid, but they were spewing boiling gas. So vinyl chloride is really toxic. OSHA has the permissible limit of how much you can be exposed to it during an eight hour shift as a one PPM part per million, average over eight hours. So prior to this, the biggest spill of this chemical was in New Jersey where one train car and about 23,000 gallons of vinyl chloride were spilled, but it didn't catch on fire. Now this crash in Ohio has five train cars. These kinds of tanker cars can carry between 25 and 33,000 gallons. Let's call it 250 to 250,000 pounds. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Sounds like yeah. uh, 
remember Chernobyl the with HBO the thing they're trying to cover up the Chernobyl and they didn't want to talk about it. this sounds very similar <sighs> Here's more from Twitter. The fact that we aren't seeing wall-to-wall coverage of the vinyl chloride train derailment and explosion in East Palestine, Ohio is insane. An entire town can't return home because the water is contaminated, livestock crops are destroyed, and reporters are being arrested. I don't understand why they're arresting reporters. That's a great question. Also, I don't understand why it's not called East Palestine. It's spelled Palestine. Yeah, I was wondering that too, but I guess it's I guess it's pronounced. It's like Robert Reich. <laughs> uh, <laughs> North Folk Southern uh, trains derailed in the town of East Palestine, Ohio, which split vinyl chloride in the area, was spilt vinyl chloride in the area and caused citizens to flee and wildlife to die. The $55 billion company has offered the town $25,000 or $5 per person for the accident. (laughs) Wow. Wow. It is a saw buck. Uh, it has been 10 days since the train accident in East Palestine, and there are no mentions of it on Twitter from the president or Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, there was already a massive disaster. This is already a massive disaster and will only get worse for the communities affected. And there's total silence. And here's Mayor Pete. Uh, Nina Turner points this out. He jokes about balloons while ignoring East Palestine, Ohio. We deserve better than this. This, this is Mayor Pete. It's had its challenges. Right. Uh, I mean, if you look at what the American transportation systems have faced in the last two or three years, partly because of the pandemic. We've faced issues from container shipping to airline cancellations. Mm-hmm. Now we got balloons. That's right. Um, <laughs> so Pete's joking. He's joking at a time when this crisis is happening. It, he probably doesn't even know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and here's a headline <clears throat> from NPR. <clears throat> On February 8th, residents can return home after crews burn chemicals and derailed tanker cars. Okay, that's February 8th. Here's a headline just four days later. Three additional chemicals discovered on East Palestine train derailment. By the way, a controlled burn or whatever they're saying, I, I found out recently there's no such th- – nobody says that. It's called a prescribed burn. Oh, okay. My girlfriend's brother's a wildfire fighter. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I asked him about that, about like doing control because, well, we really just control it up until the point where we ignite the fire. I was like, what? He goes, we call it prescribed burn because you really don't control it. <laughs> Fair enough. Wow. And this is a good example. Uh, here's more. This is a local news report. I'm Stan Boney. It's now been 10 days since Norfolk Southern train derailed in East Palestine. And tonight we know more about the chemicals that were on the train. First News digital reporter Jen Rodriguez has been in the village today taking a closer look at what else was on that train. She has those details and much more in our top story tonight at 6. We now know three more chemicals that were on board the Norfolk Southern train that derailed here in East Palestine just over a week ago. And we're being told that some of those chemicals are dangerous. We basically nuked a town with chemicals so we could get a railroad open. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency sent a letter to Norfolk Southern stating that ethylene glycol monobutyl ether ethylexyl acrylate and isobutylene were also in the rail cars that were derailed, breached, or on fire. Caggiano says ethylexyl acrylate is especially worrisome. He says it's a carcinogen and contact with it can cause burning and irritation in the skin and eyes. Breathing it in can irritate the nose, throat, and cause coughing and shortness of breath. (laughs) Wow. Well, are we going to see accountability? Well, a major obstacle is guess what? Corporate lobbying, uh, railroad corporate lobbying, a threat. In 2022, lobbying groups spent $25 billion on behalf of the railroad industry to lobby Congress. Norfolk Southern, responsible for the East Palestine derailment, was the fourth biggest spender. They offered East Palestine $25,000 compensation. Wow. So this is the same companies that lobbied hard to make sure the workers couldn't take yep. uh, sick days. Exactly. With pay. They have to give notice 30 days ahead of time when they plan to be sick now or something. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then there's your five bucks for breathing in uh, (laughs) that goop. In addition to the lobbying money, the railroad's corporate PACs contributed to the political campaigns of Democrats and Republicans alike. Norfolk Southern was the second biggest contributor, giving to more Democrats than Republicans. Uh, And it shows some of the top contributors uh, from from these railroad industry PACs, the top one being Sam Graves of- Is that Hakeem Jeffries down there? Uh, Hakeem Jeffries, there we go. 
the <laughs> the uh, House leader for the Democrats, num- number eight. We need railroads, <laughs> not rail ru- <laughs> Should do his rhyming routine at this. Doing live stand-up comedy in Tempe, Palm Springs, Milwaukee, Nashville, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Cohoes, New York, and Hartford, Connecticut. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets and become a premium member. Get access to all our content.